Hello friends! Lately I have noticed a distinct increase in the existence of mushroom hats. This has led me to want one for myself. I will attempt to accomplish this by taking this red wool beret that I already own and needle felt little white spots onto it. And that will hopefully look like a mushroom. Have I ever needle felted before? No. Do I know what I'm doing? Uh-uh. Have I even looked up a video on how to needle felt before sitting down to shoot this video? Also no. I have though, in a surprising turn of events, availed myself of all of the tools necessary to start needle felting. I have my felt, I have my needle, and I have this little foam rubber block thing. I don't know what you call it. I'm going to try it out first because I'm not a complete idiot on this little piece of red felt. Felt is so precious. Just to make sure I don't ruin my trusty red wool beret because that would break my heart. So here we go. Wish me luck. I have no clue if I've done this correctly, but I love the look of it. It's kind of like a little fluffy. I don't know if it picks up on camera very well, but it's exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, there's this poking out at the back though. I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen or if you're supposed to, I don't know, take care of it in some way. Um, I'll look that up though. Well, I guess it is time to start with the actual beret. And I gotta say, it's it, it goes faster than I thought it would. It's kind of boring though that I can't really do this while I'm, I don't know, watching TV or something. So I'm just gonna put on a podcast and just toil away. As far as projects go, this was a pretty quick and easy one. I mean, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I like the needle felting, so... It tastes like more, as we Dutchies are fond of saying. On the subject of Dutchies and sayings, I feel it is my civil duty to inform you non-Dutchies about this very quaint characteristic that me and my fellow countrymen and women possess. We love our sayings. 
and a good great number of Dutchies are not aware that those sayings are quintessentially Dutch, meaning they're not English, they're not American. Other people don't know these sayings, but they don't know that. They just continue to translate these things into English and then expect other people to know what they're talking about. For instance, oh, make that the cat wise. What if I got hanging from my bicycle? Don't drag old cows out of the ditch now. So when you are talking to a duchy and suddenly they start spouting absolute nonsense, don't worry, they're not having a stroke or a mental breakdown. Although you should never discount that possibility entirely because you might save a life, you don't know. They're probably just translating one of those Dutch sayings into English, not realizing it makes absolutely zero sense to you. No offense, it's just the way we are. Literal books have been written on this very subject. Anyway, thank you for watching me attempt a needle felt. If you feel like sticking around, hit that subscribe button. If you want to support me, please leave a comment, like, or you can come to my Ko-fi account and buy me a coffee. Much appreciated. See you in the next one. Bye bye.